King Solomon's Mines. Like many others, well, I didn't believe in them. In those days, Africa was a land of many romantic legends and had a vast, unexplored interior. I was a hunter, and it wasn't until the year 1881 that I learned that the mines were a stark reality. I say were because they now lie buried under a million tons of ashes and lava. At the time I'm speaking of, diamonds have been found in Kimberley. And many adventurous spirits of all parts of the of crystal, O'Brien, but no diamond. You don't mean... I'm sorry, Miss Keith. That's bad luck, Patsy, bad luck. Ah, bad luck, nothing. I was only having a joke with you. Come on, John. Come on. me. Come on again, Patsy. Divil I will. I scorn the diamond feet is under me shoes. We could only get to the course like I did a job, teach you. And would you like it? I would not. Of course you would. Now listen, there was a man in the bar last night from the Congo. He says there's a fortune in ivory. There's been a fortune in everything we've tried. 
But it wasn't us who found it. From now on, we'll be decent, respectable citizens. I will go into the coast before I change my mind. How much money have we? Less than a pound, and all our traps are in the pawn shop. What's that you have? For you, a gift I bought to celebrate our magnificent discovery. A shamrock. For luck, it didn't cost a thing. I know what it cost. There were two in Mulligan's store. Here's the other for you. Catty me, Diana, was there ever anything to beat it? Sure, with a bit of shamrock apiece, there's nothing on earth can hold it down. Look! Glory be to God, straight from heaven. Cost him for a lift to the coast. Sure, it's a five weeks' journey, it's a lot to ask. And you call yourself an Irishman? It's a fine morning. It's a fine morning. Is it? It is. Are you going to the coast? No. Well, that's all on the way. Whose way? Ours. We were wondering if you'd give us a lift. No. My name is Kathleen O'Brien, and this is my father, Patrick O'Brien, Bachelor of Arts of Trinity College, Dublin. Thank you, Pete. Bachelor of Arts of Trinity College, Dublin. We're down and out from the diggings, huh? We're down, but we're not out. They're out as far as my wagon's concerned. Oh, so you don't approve of us? I don't approve of anyone who tears up the face of the country for greed. Me daughter is a good cook. I have a good cook. Me father's a wonder to talk. Yeah, he would be. And he's a lovely rifle shot. Just think of the game he could get for you. <laughs> Rick! What's funny in that? What a man. There's hundred in Africa. That ends it. He does not, then. Mr. Quarterman, you needn't take us if you don't want to. But here's something for you to think about in your precious solitude. My father's own sister has died in Kilkenny. But if they never meet this side of the gate, tis you that will have prevented them. Come, Papa. Ten days. Look. Ah, oh, the pretty creature. Startled. Maybe she knows that in ten days you'll be after her with your murdering guns. I'll get you a knife. You don't like hunting? No, I do not. Neither do I. Then what do you hunt for? A living. It pays me to run hunting trips. I've got two clowns waiting for me now. There must be a lot of money in hunting. I've been thinking over what that fellow said about Ivory. He had an experience in tracking game? He wants to part in a badger hunt, but the badger escaped him. Well, you never know what you can do if you try. While you're trying, your poor sister's peacefully passing away in Kilkenny. Alan Quartermain, it was a lie about my father's sister. I know, I met the Irish before. I'm glad you owned up. Why shouldn't she? She's going to settle down and teach school. You're going to... Settle down. Well, of course I am. I suppose there isn't anything in the ivory trade, is there? If you ask me, there isn't a pin to choose between you. There's a wagon across the river. No. Antelope, probably. I'm sure it's a wagon. Can't be. And why not? There's nothing across that river but devils. That's what the natives say. It's unexplored land, desert probably. It may be the devils, but I can see a wagon. Come on! Uh, <laughs> That's all right. They're looking after him. The others run away in the night. 
Many yeah. days ago. The fear was on them. Sure, the difference. And then he fell ill. We could not reach the north. Help him back to camp. I turned back. He does not know. Let me go on. How to do he? You can't go on. You are ill. Do I care if I am ill? I don't know where you're going, but... You want to know where I am going. But I tell you, you cannot follow. I cross the desert. After the desert, I find King Solomon's mountain. After the mountain, I find King Solomon's mine. Diamond. I say, Sylvester, but you see me again, I will be the richest man on earth. So, go to the way. No, my good is Mr. Kato. No, the rest. The rest. Uh, of King Solomon himself over the desert. But is it true? True, but true. We have heard of the man. Yeah. Give me some water. Numza. All the jewels of Oprah. No one ever discovered where Oprah was. And that's where it is me. That's it. My medicine chest. All right. Where? Bobby Maji. Hey, Maji Bama. The map. Look, 300 years old. He said an ancestor of his went there and never come back. Look, the way across the desert. And here, King Solomon's Mount. And the mine. The jewels of Ophir. The greatest treasure in the world. Now that map is his. He had no right to take it. I know, but if he leaves, we won't use it. And if he doesn't, I'll seek the treasure myself. And have masses sent for a soul. The shamrock. I said it would bring us luck. Yeah, I'm coming. Dig a grave. Come on. What's on the island? Oh, now the rest of the soul. Can't you sleep? Bagaja. It must be a terrible thing to die alone in the desert without your food. Terrible. What do you think of the map? How'd you guess? I know human nature where treasure's concerned. Where's the how? I returned it. After taking a copy. Will you be sent with the map to his folks? You provoke somebody else to lose his life on a fool's errand? Besides, he has no folks. Have you looked over it? Do you think it's genuine? It's unexplored country. Nobody knows. Well, you're looking at a man who means to know. You're not going to take that what joke. What do you take me for? I'm a father, not a murderer. I should go alone. In all my life, I may never get another chance like this. You'll die? I'll find an excuse for having been born. You'll think me a casual kind of a meat who doesn't care a curse if I have a shilling in my pocket to buy a square meal for my own flesh and blood. But it's the way we Irish have to take our troubles with a smile in our teeth. While underneath, there's deep shame in me heart. Do you think I don't know what I owe to that child that's lying asleep there? I do know. And here is what I mean to pay that debt in full. With your life, eh? If God wills it. With my life. And how do you propose to make the journey? Hasn't Providence sent me a team of oxen and a wagon and the strength and purpose to carry me to the end of the earth? You know, O'Brien, there's only one kind of man that is useless to argue with. And that is? A fool. In Kosi, our wagon, where is it? I'll take you on, at least you'll be short of food and a wage. Kathy, wake up! I do not work for money, and you do not go my way. after the treasure. I know. Without me. Me who lay dreaming of the way we'd go together. Did you ever hear of something? I have been starting. You're heading the wrong way. Aren't we going after me, Father? No. But... Now put on your boots and get into the wagon. I told you, Father, I'd look after you. You knew he was going and you let him go by himself. 
I'll inquire to men, will you take me after my father, please? Listen, we'll look for the mines together. And when we find them, you'll have your share, and more, much more. Doesn't a fortune mean none of them, do you? All right, if you won't take me in your wagon, I'll go on me own two feet. Did you hear what I said? I did. Then why don't you say something? Because you're not going to do it. The Inkosikas goes across the river. Yes, I do. What business is it of yours? The Inkosikas has the map. I guide her. The map's in my wagon. No one's going across the river. Kathy, get into that wagon. Get into that wagon. What's your name? I have many names. Well, one will do. Mbopa. Where do you come from? You're after diamonds. White men care for diamonds. And what do I want to go north for? Move up. Tina Plamba. Come on. Now look here, Mbopa. If you won't take service with me, I don't want you hanging about my camps. Footsack. Check. That fellow's up to no good. Alan Quatermain, I'll never speak to you again. Never. I'm used to silence. Quite nice to have somebody to talk to. Put the Englishman's gear in here. We'll use this wagon. Leila, my daughter, Leila. Uh, How are you, Coleman? How are you, Sir Henry? I'm afraid I kept you waiting. Uh, this is Miss O'Brien. How do you do? Did you have a good trek? No, I did not. Now, don't mind Miss O'Brien, Sir Henry. She's strong and silent. The map is in the wagon. How did you get here? The Ingosikas does not forget her purpose. Good will insist on having his bath. No reason for being in a sanitary, even in Africa. Quite right. Well, I'll see you both at dinner. Yes, I'll tell you, how do you get out of this thing? You better ask Sir Henry to tip you out. Huh? Right. Oh, no, 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 Sir Henry, don't. Sir Henry, Sir Henry Curtis. Sir Henry, Sir Henry Curtis. Will you help me, please? I'm in terrible trouble. You see, Mr. Quartermain wants me to send the wagon back north so that the boys can have camp ready when you arrive. But they won't obey me. They won't obey me. Mutiny, eh? Yeah. Oh, Lord, to God, I thought it was a pig. Commander Good, Royal Navy. Retired. I'll go fetch Quartermain. Ah, oh, no, please don't. I don't want him to know I've had any trouble. Will you speak to them? Of course I'll speak to them. By the way, I thought you were strong and silent. Oh, <laughs> you wouldn't believe Mr. Quartermain. He's a terrible liar. Gentlemen, the Queen. God bless her. Now we offer permission to light up. And with yours, I'll run over a few of my proposals. I take it you want to get a sable antelope, Sir Henry? Is Mr. Brown often as late as this? Oh, well, she'll show up when she's hungry. She seems to me to be a capable young person. Hmm, yes. Capable of anything. She has stolen one of my wagons, but I haven't kept my eyes open. Anything wrong? Well, I mean, I take it that it's in order for Sir Henry to tell your wagon boys to obey the young lady. With the result that your wagon is now proceeding in a northern direction to, uh, to establish a camp. But she told me that you, my boy, I'm afraid you're the victim of a woman's wiles. We must go after her. certainly must. My only toothbrush is in that wagon. She has three hours start. It'll be two days before I can get another team together. But she told me those boys were mutinous. <laughs> I'm afraid, Sir Henry, that it's Miss O'Brien who is mutinous. 
You have a little more problem. I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid, why should I care if my journey's long, I'm sure to get there though my journey's long, my team and my wagon are strong. Struggle along, struggle along, oxen no mind till your shoulders crack, keep plodding along till your shoulders crack, I'll never be turning you Nine miles north of the hill, heading for the desert in a stolen wagon. And what's left of my trousers? And you're coming back tomorrow. Meanwhile, Commander Good would like his toothbrush. Yes. Yeah. If you want a girl, I'll give you the hiding of your life. Shame to be so? Could I do it again? Ready to come back? I'm not coming back. I made up my mind to go after my father and I'm going. Not in my wagon. I don't want your wagon anymore. You can't take a wagon over the waterless desert because you can't take any oxen. Why? Because they drink too much. Who told you that? I didn't, Kosi. What are you doing here? I brought you. Now look here, Kathy. I don't know what fairy tale this man's been telling you. But I give you my word, no living soul can cross that desert. How does he in Kosi know? Well, I'm going to try. I'm not afraid. If the Inkosikas is ready. I'm in charge here. Get up! Wait a minute. We obviously can't let these two go alone. But is there any reason why we shouldn't go with them? Very good suggestion. Solves the whole problem. I won't have it. Nobody's asking you. I thought you wanted to go hunting. Oh, are you know, hunting, fishing, anything with those sort of adventure in it. Do you know how men die for lack of water? Thirst. Burning thirst that turns to pain. Torture. Then you go mad, and the sun kills you. 
imaginative fellow, isn't he? What a man. I'm sorry our trips had to end like this. How do you mean end? Well, we'll be away for some time. You can't ask you to wait for us. Sir Henry Curtis. I was engaged to take you up country and to bring you back to the best of my ability. Well, I happen to be a man who respects a contract. I'm lining up with the rest of you. You're a good fellow, Quarterman. On the contrary, I'm a fool. How are your feet? All right. How are yours? Fine. Nice about our feet, isn't it? Are you really going all through this just for Diamond? In Corsi says so. I didn't say anything. I'm asking you. Why is in Corsi going? Best if I know. You're not one for a bit of gossip, are you? Let's see others. Well, that's the last ration of water. Half a bottle each. That's good. I. I see by the map that we ought to get to Pan Bad Water by midday tomorrow. Uh, well, why is it called Pan Bad Water? Because in 300 years it may have dried up. Oh. 
Use Curtis. There's no point in her surviving us. I smell water. Only call. Only call. Obot! Obot! Any mom! Any mom! Any mom! Any mom! Mountain, oh you mountain, gonna climb you. Gonna climb you. Mighty mountain. Climbing up, climbing up. Till I'm holding the clouds in my hand. Climbing up, climbing up, till the world is below where I stand. Mighty 
Mighty mountain, oh you mountain, mighty mountain. Breakfast ready? Yeah, ready. We had melon for breakfast yesterday. We did. Had melons the day before. We did. I suppose we're going to have melons today. We, we are. are. Don't the birds in this country ever lay eggs? I wonder how far my father is ahead of us. Are you sure you got this far? Of course I am. Patrick O'Brien has always done what he set his mind to. What did you think about in the desert? Sand, mostly. Do you ever think of me? Yes. You understand? I'm glad of that, because you're going to see a lot of me in the next few weeks. Am I? I'm afraid you can't avoid it. You see, we're in uninhabited country. I hate to contradict you, but there's a man behind that rock. Several men. They seem anxious to meet us. Much too anxious. They say, what manner of man is this with a beautiful white leg? He grows hair on one side of his face and can pluck his eye from his head and replace it where it grows. He's telling them you are white gods from the skies. Me and the count of my legs? I never thought there was good at all that. Nyin ito a nyan. Ebeyat. E ito de do. Nyin idi kotu mbuko. He couldn't have done that better if he'd been an Irishman. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
the people of Arts, an uninhabited country. This is a military crowd. Oh, I hope the cooking is good. Those are the soldiers' quarters, and that's the king's hut. Buckingham Palace and Wellington Barracks, sir. So unlike the home life of our dear queen. Suppose Patrick O'Brien's in there. Don't worry, my father's gone after diamonds. King Solomon's mine, that's where we'll find him. If there is such a mine. Twala, didem. Well, he says he isn't in. He says the twilight of the king will see the strangers who come to his land and claim to be God. Look at their spears. It's all right. They think we're gods. Well, I hope the Twala does. Get up. If she thinks we're afraid, anything may happen. Now, my come with it. Would it do any good if I whipped off my trousers, do you think? Ntake me, me mfiat nden, enye nemi? He asks, why do the gods honor his kingdom? Is it the white stones they seek? Diamonds! So there is a mine! Tell him, yes! Vonda nya. Ke iboro Twala. He's going to take it. King Solomon's mines. The greatest treasure in the world. And his father inside, fill in his pockets. Back on me! It seems they are nice fellows, after all. Huh? I hope you're right. <laughs> what are you going to do with your share of the money? If you get out of this, go back to England and keep sheep. Oh. I think I'll buy myself a battleship and rejoin the Navy. Solomon's Road and the silent ones to guard it, broken and overgrown. I wonder how many civilizations have perished like this one. Solomon had nothing to do with idols. The Phoenicians did. They were the great traders of Solomon's time. Perhaps some Phoenician ran the mine. after the mines. These people believe that she's hundreds of years old. Would you say that she was well preserved? Reminds me of my poor old aunt, Hannah. She came to no good. She asks why the white man's servant walks like a prince. I noticed it myself. I'm commonly good walker, that's all. That's because she's seen a white man. Mong yas, a canon and a thaw. Omoko tapi didem. Efenemi abidya. Nyami. Nina, 
Perhaps it was yesterday, perhaps it was a hundred years ago. Time has no meaning to her. Through that door, slaves brought jewels for the Queen of Sheba thousands of years ago. And Patrick O'Brien went in to find his fortune. Come on. Follow dare not harm you here. The people think you've got. Once inside, he has no one to fear. The stone will roll back. They've never seen a gun fired before. Well, if that made him feel pretty silly. You saw what nearly happened to us. This proves that it must have happened to your father. If your father loved you as much as you love him, he'd be the last one to want you to stay. Wouldn't he? That's not fair. I'm sorry, Kevin. Then it's agreed we leave tonight. Yes. It is not agreed. You must stay. I'm in charge here. I told you that before. That was in your country. We are now in mine. You cannot escape. Everywhere the men of Twala watch. One step beyond that door and a spear will pierce your back. How do you know that? Tomorrow the drums beat. They smell out the evildoers. Gagoo will put her mark upon the enemies of the king. They die like cattle. Looks like a red-letter day for all of us, doesn't it? Yet the people are weary of wickedness and blood. If there was one to lead them, they would rise up. Well, isn't there one? Perhaps he could be found. Who are you? A man who looks for diamonds and hangs about your camp. That's what you said. Once there was a king in this land, Emote to the loved. But he fought the wicked Gargoul, who was older than the memory of the oldest man. For that, she made his brother, Twala the One-Eyed, kill him while he slept. The wife of Emotu and the son of Emotu were driven into the desert. It is said they died. And if they didn't, the son of Emotu should be king and not Twala. You are the son of Emotu. I am the son of Emotu.
Kakula ko wode te si eri demu fo e motu. Edi ye ye ni motu afi ya ke di. Mwe mrok i kat. Emi e di de di yongo e ye ne di dem. Se 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 se. Erkin. Erkin. Committee seems unanimous. I always thought that fellow had a spot of royal blood in him. You don't get a snake on your stomach for nothing, you know. It is agreed. Tomorrow, at the smelling out of the evildoers, they will lead the people of the Kukuana against Twala. But I need your help. And in return, I offer you your lives and the freedom of the mines. For you, the diamonds, riches. For you, adventure. For you, the happiness of the Incasicas. Today, you saw how Twala treats strangers. If your father is alive, he is in the mine. How can we help you? Behind Twala stands Gagul. The people fear her magic. They will rise only if you show them a greater magic. You live among us. You know that the white man has no magic. I must have magic. And if we cannot give it? The drums will roll at the smelling out. Gagul will give the sign. The killers will speed to the evildoers. They will beat us to death. day back home in the day, honey. Uh, I had a bet on Manitoba. No such horse. Certainly is. I got it in my diary. Here it is. Derby day. Manitoba. Right over here. 1115. Total eclipse of the sun visible over Tenerife, South Africa. Magic. Good, you're a genius. 1115. That ought to settle me. It's a chance. Here's Dolly. Huh? Huh? Of course. I wouldn't have had a bet on last year's Derby this year, would I? Suga.
propose it. Ten minutes past eleven. Right about the time. God help us if you're not.
time I followed this thing, it didn't fire. Still doesn't. She's gone. Look. Gargoon. Oh, mind. Yeah, not all right. 
And that's a break in the lake. Thank God you're safe. Of course I'm safe. So this is what put an end to the mine. They stumbled upon a volcano. How do you explain our skeletons? Miners trying to escape and trapped by the lava. Oh. Hurry up, Curtis, will you? get to whether the fortune endowment of the mountain should decide to sit down on it, isn't it? It did not, then. I have a fortune here in my pocket. But there's enough here for all of us. Diamonds are not much use when you're trapped behind solid rock. Uh, I don't want to depress you any further, but I think there's going to be an eruption. That fall of rock, you know? Volcanoes are nervous things. It takes very little to upset them. But if it wasn't for me, you'd be quietly shooting Gabe in the south. And then you'd have gone home and married some nice girl and lived in your big house. And slowly grown old and fat and disagreeable. And ended up a feeble old man with no one sorry to see you go. No. I'd rather die young. Strange. I used to hate dying. I'd lie awake at night thinking about it. Scared. But when you come to it, it's not so bad after all. There's only one thing I'm sorry about. I'd like to have seen Ireland again. The glen of a mall where I was born, with the mountains running down to the lakes. We would have gone home next year. You could have come with us. For the bank. Idea, but it, it's bound to fall on us. And both of us? Well, you must put it clear.
Ready. Right. my country ends. But a hundred of my men will lead you across the desert. Go now, my friends. And at time, remember how we stood shoulder to shoulder in the great battle. Mighty mountain, oh you mountain, mighty mountain. 